Hey guys, happy Tuesday. It's Christina Sullins. I am a mom of two. There's one of them. <laughs> a fitness coach and an entrepreneur. Um, we are out walking, Brooklyn and I, and I thought I would share with you some tips about public speaking. I actually spent the morning coaching some fellow coaches who are going to be speaking and training at an upcoming live event. And I gave them a simple system to really be comfortable in their own skin, be confident, rock the stage, and pay it forward and help others. So whether you're a coach or you are in a leadership role or you want to be in a leadership role, this is useful information. I've been a fitness instructor for 20 years. That's kind of where public speaking started for me. I wouldn't ever say that I was a public speaker, but teaching fitness classes and getting up in front of people is kind of like public speaking. And then I was a presenter for Shalene Johnson for about seven years. And she really taught me everything that I know about speaking in front of people and motivating people and making an impact and pulling out the best in people and paying it forward. So here's what I'm going to share with you. Um, we're all in a position at some point where we're sharing information or we're training other people, right? And it can be a little nerve wracking. How, how can I be special? How can what I have to share be good enough? How can I make an impact by just being me, right? All right, so three tips for you. The first one is know who your audience is. Know who you're talking to. So, and what do they want from you, okay? So, a lot of times, they either want to be motivated and inspired by you, or they want to learn from you. Maybe they want both. If they want to be motivated and inspired by you, then it's going to be about sharing your struggles to success. It's going to be about digging in and sharing what you have overcome and being totally real and vulnerable about that and then sharing with them how you did it and that they can do it too, okay? If you're training on a topic and they are looking to learn from you and to follow in your footsteps, then here is what they want. They want tangible takeaways. This is really important. That's what they want. They want tangible takeaways. What's a tangible takeaway? They want checklists. They want a to-do list. They want a system they can put in their hot little hands, meaning, you know, um, something typed out for them, a PowerPoint presentation, um, a script, <laughs> a recipe, right? Because otherwise it's just like telling someone, oh, you can make this amazing um, healthy brownie recipe and you just add a little bit of this and a little bit of that and it tastes amazing, right? No, I need the recipe right? Give me the recipe. That's what a system is. So know who your audience is and what they want from you. And if you're not sure, think about two things. One, what did you want when you were in their shoes? And two, if you're still not sure, do a poll. Ask them. Ask them how you can add value and how you can best deliver the information that they're looking for. Okay. Number two, so you've kind of written down some ideas of what you're going to talk about. Jotted it all down on paper, right? You have a hodgepodge of tons of stuff that you're going to talk about. Look at all of that, and my first question to you is, what are you really good at? Within the topic that you're speaking on, what are you really good at? What are you confident in teaching? What is your jam? What is your passion? Because you want to get up and talk about something that you are really confident in, that you love, right? I don't ever want to get on camera 
or speak in public about something that I'm not passionate about. That's just not fun. If it's not fun, I don't want to do it, right? So what are you really good at? What are you confident in? Out of everything that you could possibly talk about, pick one or two things that are like this. This is it. This is what I love. This is what I'm confident in. This is what I'm good at. This is what I already help other people and teach them how to do it, right? And break it down to two to three bullet points. Two to three bullet points. 80% of what you say, people will not remember it. 80%. 80% of what you say, people will not remember it. Right, that's crazy. Then why am I even up here talking, right? <laughs> They're gonna take away one to two nuggets. So I say decide what those nuggets are gonna be first. Like you decide. What are you gonna make the biggest impact with? And you're gonna make the biggest impact with what you're confident in, what you're passionate about, what, what your jam is, because you're gonna get up there and you're gonna be excited to talk about it. Does that make sense? Yes, I got a heart, okay. So focus on two to three bullet points max to talk about. And then number three, which is last, how do you stand out? How do you make an impact and how are you gonna be remembered? Well, there's this saying that people don't remember what you say, but they remember how you make them feel. I've built a whole business around that phrase. It is so true. But most likely what you have to share is not brand new, okay? So maybe if you're sharing you know, your story or a testimonial or your training on a topic, it doesn't matter what you're training on, most likely it's not something that's brand new that people have never heard of before and it's the first time they're hearing about it, right? <clears throat> That's not what makes it special. What's, what makes it special is how you do it. So you're telling people, this is what I do that makes me successful, or this is what I do and how I help other people and why I'm sharing it with you, but then this is how I do it, right? Like public speaking is not brand new. Everybody is usually forced into public speaking at some point in their life, right? <laughs> but I'm sharing with you how I do it and how I make it my own and how I make it successful, right? So it's kind of the same thing. So you're taking your topic and you're sharing with people how you do it. How do you make it your own, okay? So if you're talking and you're sharing about, you know, let's say a to-do list, there's a million ways someone can teach on how to create a to-do list, but how do you do it? And what apps do you use? And how do you prioritize your to-do list? And what time of day do you make your to-do list? And what goes on your to-do list? And then what do you actually get done? And how do you get it done? Like, how do you do it? And that's what you're doing as a coach. Our goal as leaders should always be to simplify the process of what we have figured out for someone else, right? To simplify it, to make it easier for them to do what we have done. So that's what you're doing. That's how you make an impact. That's how you are remembered because you go up there and you vulnerably share from your heart. You give it all you've got. You don't hold back and you literally hand people the system to Success, <laughs> whatever it is that you're talking about, it doesn't matter, right? You literally give it to them. You give them the system. It's not a secret, right? It's about paying it forward and helping other people. So um, that's what I have for you. Tell me what you think. Did you like this? Was it helpful? Do you talk in public? Do you train? Do you coach people? Do you motivate people? What role do you have where you actually are speaking in front of other people? And do you like it? Do you not like it? Do you run away? <laughs> um, hope you guys are having a great Tuesday. Give me some feedback on the video and I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.